Hey everybody, today I'll be taking a look at Super Rhino, which is a fun little dexterity game in which you're building a house of cards. So, in the box you get this little foundation card, which has an uh, advanced side and a basic side, or so easier side. You get a deck of wall cards, which are already uh, bent halfway in the middle. And you get a deck of roof cards, and you get this little Super Rhino meeple, which is painted already. It's not a sticker. So, how is, does this game play? Really easy. You give each player five of these roof cards. In a two-player game, both players get seven. And on your turn, you just take two of these wall pieces and you follow the blueprints. So like I said, this is a lot simpler because you place two. In the advanced, you will always place one. But let's play an easy game because I'm not gonna try real hard. So first player puts out a blueprint and puts on a new roof. And play goes to the next player. He also has to follow the blueprints and put out the roof. Now there are a lot of special roofs and I will uh, zoom in on this in a second. Let me show you one. This one for example, it makes the next player will have to put a rhino. You can see it here and here. First on this roof before he can place the next one. So. Let me get a bit more in camera. When you place this one, next player has to take Super Rhino, put him over here, and again follow the blueprints. So you start with five of these roofs, and first player to get rid of all of them is the winner. But of course, if you make the whole house crash, you will um, lose. So this has a plus one on it, which means the next player has to draw an, another roof card. So each player starts with five, seven in a two player game. And if you play this plus one, the next player will have to draw another one. And let's say the next player again places a super rhino. Will, as you can see, another super rhino. So now the next player has to get super rhino, which was here on the uh, third floor and he has to put him all the way up here on the fifth so this was still pretty easy but you can imagine as this tower gets higher it will get very tricky to take super rhino from where he is and put him all the way up where he needs to be and this is how the game plays um, all I'm gonna crash the tower now all there is left to do is look at these special rooftops. I've already explained two, I think. So let me zoom in a bit. So this was the Super Rhino one. As you can see, you have to. The next player will have to place Super Rhino on this floor. There was the plus one, which means the next player will have to draw another uh, roof card. There is this one, which means uh, change player order so f when you're moving clockwise you take it counterclockwise or vice versa um, exclamation mark makes the next player skip a turn so play goes from the first player to the third for example if the first player plays a roof court with that symbol the times two means you can place this roof and after that a second roof so that's a nice card to finish with or uh, just before you finish and that's it I have explained there all of them so if I take them all you will see almost all of them are have a special uh, ability there are especially a lot of move the super rhino so most of them have an ability or do something and that's how the game plays it's really easy um, like I said you're just Building this house of cards, first player to get rid of his five wins, but you have this skip a turn, change clockwise, uh, give plus one, and if you make the tower crash, of course, you lose. That's uh, it's pretty simple. Like I said, you have the stand basic game, and you can play an advanced variant, which is a bit harder. And uh, that's the game. So, for my overview, uh, for my final thoughts, first, artwork is really nice, uh, and if you, if you look at these walls, their insides, the inside is different, and 
also the outsides as have nice artwork. Um, Super Rhino is a cool little meeple. The quality is fantastic. These cards are they aren't cardboard, but they are really thick, really sturdy. The wall cards also, I think they will last pretty long. I think you can get a lot of play out of this game. Um, some minus points. If I just take all of the cards. This is the box and it's pretty big because if you look actually you could easily fit the whole game just in this uh, side of the box. So if you take like this box size that I have uh, several games in like Hanabi which will be the most known. Um, if you compare the box size it's pretty big. Thick. So it could easily go in this Hanabi box, I've tried it, but they've put it in this one. So that's a bit uh, silly, i rather had it in this box size, but that's a very small minus point. Uh, that's the only bad thing I can say about the game, you know, it's the quality is great, it's fun, it's quick, it's great with kids. The tower gets really high. Uh, which is a lot of fun. It's funny moving the super rhino when the tower is really high it gets really exciting Will the tower collapse? You never know uh, it gets really wobbly once it's really high uh, Like I said quick fun funny all you want in a light dexterity game like this now uh, Like you know if you have seen my riffraff review that riffraff is my favorite uh, dexterity game, but riffraff is 40 euros and big takes a lot of room this is only four euros and it's really small the box is maybe a bit big but this is still a small box and you could it put everything in an even smaller one so um, if you want a, a dexterity game i'd still suggest uh, take a look at riffraff but like i said 40 euros really big only four euros and very small so uh, this is certainly also worth to look at if you're on a tighter budget if you have little kids maybe this is also better they will like uh, the super rhino team of it I guess um, so that's it it's a fun little dexterity game which you really should give a try thank you guys for watching see you later